Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and it looks like we've discovered yet another unusual galaxy in our own neighborhood. I feel like I've been making a lot of videos about recently discovered galaxies, and yet again, the astronomers found something absolutely incredible. Uh, we're actually zooming into it right now, this is the video from Hubble Telescope, and um, it's actually past this global cluster that you see on the screen right now. And right behind the global cluster is this somewhat difficult to see galaxy known as Baden 1. Now let's actually talk a little bit more about uh, uh, what we've discovered and what we know about this galaxy and essentially just discuss the idea of finding these incredible galaxies right here in our own neighborhood. So first of all, how did this galaxy uh, get discovered? So here's Earth and what the scientists were doing, they were actually studying the uh, globular cluster that you're going to see in a few seconds known as NGC 6752. Now it's actually kind of difficult to see it from um, Earth, as a matter of fact, it's very likely we're not going to see anything until we start dramatically zooming into it. So essentially I, I need to use my telescopic feature here to try to zoom into it until I start seeing something. And there it is. So that's NGC 6752. This uh, global cluster uh, can actually technically be seen uh, with naked eye um, as long as you're in a really dark environment or if you have binoculars and in terms of the actual size it covers in the sky uh, it's about three-fourths um, of what the moon covers and um, this is actually the closest global cluster to uh, earth and um, it's at a distance of about 13,000 light years away from us. Now, the interesting thing about this cluster is that there's about 100,000 stars here um, in a diameter of approximately 100 light years. So th there's a lot of different stars. There's a lot of binary stars. There's also a lot of these um, blue stragglers. It's kind of difficult to see it here, but there's a blue straggler right there, which is essentially a type of a star that I've talked about previously on the channel. Um, you can check out the video somewhere above my head. Now, uh, the idea here is that they were really not looking for galaxies. They were just trying to study the um, actual stars in the cluster. And then they realized that something was not right. The stars that they were detecting had different age and also much higher redshift value, meaning that they were much farther away and actually moving away from um, Earth. And what they realized is that they were looking at stars behind the globular cluster and those stars corresponded to the galaxy now known as Bedin 1. Now here is actually another uh, really cool example from Hubble that they created that shows you how if you look right behind the cluster, right behind it, um, at a distance of about 30 million light years, if you keep going and going and going, you will discover the Baden 1 galaxy. Now, the most unusual thing about this galaxy is that not only is it relatively dim and doesn't seem to have uh, a lot of active stars or a lot of um, stars being created, it also doesn't seem to have any partners. It's completely by itself and it's a dwarf galaxy that seems to have no other body that it orbits and we've never really seen this before. Because normally, if you were to look at, um, for example, our galaxy, the Milky Way, let's actually escape and take a look at it from a distance. So there's our galaxy, there is the cluster showing in comparison to the rest of the galaxy. And um, if you were to look around, you'll actually find quite a few dwarf galaxies orbiting around the Milky Way. And for the most part, uh, usually these tiny galaxies, they always have a partner that they orbit. And it's very likely that many of them actually get swallowed by larger galaxies and eventually become part of those ga galaxies, but not bad in one. As a matter of fact, it seems that not only is bad in one completely by itself, it feels like it's never been disturbed by anything and no other galaxy has ever actually touched it. In terms of the actual shape and in terms of the actual uh, parameters, it's very similar to this galaxy right here known as Tucana Dwarf Galaxy. And essentially, this is kind of, okay, maybe too bright, but this is kind of what this bed in one galaxy would look like from a distance. Um, it's not very bright. It doesn't have too many stars. It's only about 3000 light years across. So it's about 30 times smaller than the Milky Way. And what's interesting is that it's also really old. Um, as a matter of fact, some stars here seem to be 13 billion years old, which means that it was actually created pretty much right after the Big Bang and it doesn't show any interaction with anything. So it stayed by itself, completely alone in this uh, region of space, untouched by other galaxies. Now, um, the nearest large galaxy to it is about 2 million light years away, which is equivalent to a distance of Milky Way to Andromeda. And even that galaxy doesn't seem to interact with it very well. And that particular galaxy is known as NGC 6744, 
And that's essentially the largest um, galaxy that's the closest to this particular discovery. But nevertheless, we don't really understand how this tiny dwarf galaxy was able to survive for so long completely by itself without being absorbed by other galaxies, without really essentially being swallowed by anything. As of today, this is essentially the only such unusual hermit dwarf galaxy we've discovered that also seems to show no indication of um, interaction or creation of new stars. And most stars here are really, really old. They're about 10 to 13 billion years old. So pretty much most of the stars in this galaxy are really, really ancient worlds um, that have stopped changing a long time ago. Now, it's very unusual um, in many different ways, but I think with time we'll probably discover a lot more really exciting things about Baden 1 that we'll hopefully get to cover on the channel. Now, in terms of the actual type of the galaxy, this is known as the Dwarf Spheroid Galaxy, and these are really, really common. There's actually at least 36 of these in the nearby uh, local group um, of the Milky Way, and so these galaxies are not rare. What's rare, of course, is the fact that it's all by itself. And uh, we actually expect to find a lot more in the next few years because our telescopes have reached such a high sensitivity that uh, it's very likely we're going to be discovering more and more of these unusual dwarf galaxies. But as of now, this seems to be the only such orphan or I guess hermit galaxy that doesn't seem to have a partner and seems to be completely by itself. And because this galaxy is actually relatively dim, it's very, very difficult to see. It's also potentially one of the dimmest galaxies we've ever discovered. But once again, completely by accident. But you know, most discoveries around the world usually happen by accident. So in the next few years, we'll hopefully get to learn more about this unusual place and maybe even discover something really, really awesome inside of this galaxy. For now, though, that's really all we know. We know that it's a lonely hermit, but a very exciting place that seems to actually show us what these tiny galaxies were like billions and billions of years ago, because it hasn't really been touched by anything. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully you learn a little bit more about the universe and space. And most importantly, hopefully you enjoy this video. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.